Good evening, guys. Today is the 25th of May. I have come out here to get some more stuff done in the garden. If you guys haven't seen it in a while, little bit, everything is growing. I've been watering all these pots every day. Every morning I water these. Now I get up and do it because that seems to make a difference. And we've eaten a few peaches already. Look how nice these peaches are. Now, they're not as big as they could be because they are in a pot. So I probably wasn't watering them enough to begin with. But since I've been watering everything, things look really good. We had to move all the dahlias over here onto these black, underneath this black. And then I might actually put salt around here if the slugs don't leave them alone. When I had them against the rocks over here, I'm building a walkway here. When I had it against the rocks here, all the pots, the slugs would come up and they were just destroying the leaves on these plants, on these dahlias. So I kind of moved them all over to here and started watering them again. So some of them look pretty beat up, but they're recovering. And as far as all these, these are all Rachel's petunias doing really good. So I figured it out. I wasn't watering things enough. In pots, you have to water them every single day or they're gonna dry out and they're gonna start suffering. Since I've been watering these every day and they even feel light right now because it's been dry out. And I think we have a, I thought I seen, where'd I see it at? I thought I seen a red, Flower. Did Rachel say they're not red, they're pink? Or something, I forget. Right there, on the dahlias. And the even the potatoes, I came home today and all these potatoes were laying on the ground and because they were so dry, even though I watered them every morning, I left one time, I didn't water it and it just, they suffered, they were down. So I ended up giving it water and it popped back up, thank goodness. Now these strawberries aren't ripening as fast because I have this tree here, which I'm gonna nip off some of these branches so they get more light during the day, but they're not ripening as fast because of that. Oh, here's one. You know what, this one ain't even completely done. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Let's see. Well, let me wash it off first. Dahlia is going to open soon. So they'll recover. I'll just have to come out here snail hunting and make sure that they don't destroy my plants. Look at all the fuchsia. They're looking really good. We have to turn them in the baskets. These are impatience. These actually were from last spring. I managed to keep them alive on the porch all winter long. Oh, and look what we have. I think that's a pineapple lily, I think, or something. I'll have to ask Rachel. I think it's got some kind of spots on it, though. I don't know if that's supposed to have that. Oh, maybe it is. I think it is supposed to have that. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to get some stuff done out here. Oh, you want to see how big the pears are now? I think I have a couple pears. Let me see. I showed you the peaches. And remember when I had these hanging baskets out here, guys? I said I was going to put them here, let them grow into the ground. Look, they started growing um, up into the ground. So I cut them off and now they're sitting right over there in baskets. Let me see. These are the um, citronella I propagated earlier this year. They're doing really, really good. We have actually blueberries too, see? Oh, is there a blue one? No, not yet. I'm gonna have to cover these because I know the birds will get them so quickly. Cool. Oh, here's a pear. See, pretty neat.
I hear a loud plane. Well, you did come to work at 2.15 in the afternoon to start your first lawn. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. The boss was one not wanting to work this morning, so... That is not We just true. hung out the house in the jacuzzi. We actually put in enough time today that we could just take the rest of the day off. Yeah. But unfortunately, income wise. Yeah, yeah, income we, wise. We went out this we morning. Made our, what does Wes and Mariah say? They made we their made quota. our quota for our the quota. next probably two days, to be honest with you. May, maybe one day. Yeah, just one. But it was, what did we do, It boss? was a good morning. We went and treated lawns. Yeah, we went and put a um, bifen down on some lawns, a fungicide down on another lawn, mm -hmm. um, fertilized five lawns, and sprayed five lawns for we control post-emergent yeah so yep. and the the fertilizer has a pre-emergent in it too yeah so carl worked a full day well I you helped of, you blew everything off because yeah. that's key you want to blow all your roadways and walkways off so there's not fertilizer flagstone yeah. anything that is gonna hold make sure that you get you have to get the cracks really good mm -hmm. because i mean even though it's a pre-emergent you don't want spots yeah on their driveway yeah. so so we're out mowing now i yeah. guess we're mowing five in here i think and then one, two, three, four, yep, five. then we have our big one to mow yeah so and then depending on what time we get done maybe our neighbor but i think we can squeeze it in tomorrow before the rain yeah and tomorrow would be a nice day tomorrow. High of 57 tomorrow. Yeah, I actually think that we could just hit that one in the morning before we go out. Yeah, technically. Mm -hmm. so, so let's... Because it might be a little later by the time we get back from our big one. Yeah, well, we could just go pick up a load of mulch, right? Mm-hmm. And come back and park the truck and then go with this one in the trailer. Right, right. And mow and then do whatever we need to do. Yeah, so we could so. do that. Let's All
There you guys go. All done. We're gonna come back tomorrow morning and finish the mulch that we started the other day on this one. I decided to blow it off so Rachel didn't have to. And we okay guys, it looks like Rachel's down there mowing that one. I'm gonna mow this one. As you can see, it's really dry, but we're still gonna mow these and that one. I think Rachel's done that one and she'll come back up and do this one. So let me get it done and I'll show you guys in after. There you go. Two, three more done. So we are at our last one for the day. Pretty sure, right? Yeah. Are you making me mow another one today? No, man. By the time we get done this, it's going to be like seven. Yeah, seven at least. So we worked a full day today. We but always it was... work a full day. No, I don't, mean a full... Don't let it fool you. You know what I mean. <laughs> like a really, really full day? Is like that we went doing? out and we sprayed this morning. So we started like what? Right. We probably like, started at 10 o'clock when we went and got everything. Okay, and we're be but out let's be honest. Now. Let's be honest. If it wasn't Memorial Day on Monday, we probably would have been a little bit more lax with this week's schedule. And I mean, we haven't gotten rain now. Yeah. So we're supposed to get a soaker this weekend and then Memorial Day Monday. And we have a secret vacay coming up. Yeah. Oh, we're not working Monday, Tuesday. And then when we come back Wednesday, we should be back by noon. Yeah. And we'll be able to go knock out like maybe four or five, depending. Yeah. Um, just to get some done. I mean, we could just do it Thursday, Friday and Saturday and then Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But... If we have time on Wednesday, we might as well go knock so some out. So, people are getting pushed next week is what... Is I'm what Rachel's trying to say. But, in the one, one of them is seven days tomorrow. And we say that because we might get rain tomorrow. Yeah. Now, I'm hoping it doesn't start raining till four. And we'll be able to do them too. And we'll be perfectly fine. And we'll be pretty caught up. We'll be on schedule. But, I mean, if we get off schedule, it's not that It is what it is. The grass ain't going nowhere. No. Right? And our clients know us, and they know that it will be there, and, and it will always square. look good. Mm -hmm. so. so, let's get out and mow this one. Uh, I'll probably show you before or after or something like that. I'm not going to... We're just going to try to get it mowed. Yeah. So... We want to get done and get home and eat. Yeah. We did splurge because the girls were at an event today, so... Neither one of us have to make dinner tonight. Yeah, and they did gonna... pretty good at the event. So, yeah. so. let's go ahead and go. Yep. Not too bad, guy. That's a lot steeper than it looks over here. Here, I'll show you. What ha I some people say they can mow this whole thing with a zero turn. I guess a ZTR. Yeah, I don't doubt you could, but I'm going to show you. They mowed that other side one time in three weeks. And I'm going to show you the ruts it puts, and they use the CPR on that thing. Watch when we go over the other side of this hill. So I think all Rachel has left is this. I'm done that all the way out there. Okay, see that? Really nice. And the one behind me has been mowed one time. And I think I've mowed this three or four times since they've mowed that. But look what happens when you take a zero turn mower on hills that you shouldn't take them on. That's one time you see how it slid down. If you see, there are slide marks down that hill. So, and then ruts all, see all the ruts all along here? That's one mow. Do that week after week after week and it's gonna look like up there by the trees. So that's why you gotta be smart when you're mowing. That's why you gotta be smart when you're mowing lawns like this because you'll tear them up i mean you can do anything and then well, not only that if, what other direction are you gonna go i'd like to see you really honestly go down that direction with a zero turn mower i know i keep pushing it but you'd fly right off that cliff and you'd be down there mowing the sod field or in the hospital but i don't like to take them risks <laughs> Oh, we might finish this one earlier than I thought. I'm even edging all the walkways. Rachel's finishing up right there, as you can see. Done that, she'll 
it'll start blowing all my mess off that I made. So I'm gonna finish edging and I'll wait to do the fence line last because she can be blowing off while I'm doing the fence line. Not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. I got a couple little spots left to weed eat. I think we did that in two hours. Whew. Solid today. Oh, you guys probably didn't want to hear that. <laughs> oh, we'll edit that out. Yeah, we, we have a little bit of a sick puppy. I don't know. She ate something that didn't agree with her. She'll be so, fine. Yeah, she'll be okay. I've been, like, feeding her rice and chicken. Like, bland. Bland diet. Same as kids. Paige is like, how did you know this? I'm like, listen, we used to own Huskies. <laughs> yeah, way back in the day when we lived in Jersey. Yeah, before we had kids, they were our first babies, mm -hmm. our Huskies. So, so that was a good day. Yeah, we finished that last one in two hours, exactly. Yeah, so not, I, did. I mean, a longer day, like Carl said, yeah. but... um really good profitable day definitely when you do so, spraying and stuff yeah so we kind of needed that before a long weekend yeah hopefully we can knock out two tomorrow that would be really nice two or three i think we only have what i don't know we'll have to say two or three on the schedule i know i'm just nervous like i'm am only thinking that maybe two could be having barbecues no not on a saturday no 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 i mean for monday so i would really like to mow them oh yeah that one but in that I one mean, and the other one it didn't grow too much but you guys yeah i look don't at think my they did i think it's been a week or more i don't know yeah i don't know i don't know if it's grown but although the back doesn't grow no not at all and then that other one up there grows no matter what yeah it can like sprinkle on it and it grows like three feet who fertilizes i have no idea <laughs> and no like it's that. not really it's really not because of just the fertilizer it just grows it's yeah. one of those lawns that you know probably you know. could be on every five days yeah, very we fertilize rarely. them the same as all the other yards yeah um, very rarely do we have a lawn that could be on every five days yeah we used to have one of them i used to have to push my one mm. every five days every five days yeah believe it or on not on the dot if he was not there on the fifth day we had a very angry client didn't we mm -hmm. but carl did really well with that one every five days but, that one over there should probably be on five days. <laughs> yeah, probably. Jim should be on five days. Too, yeah, probably. probably. Right? You're probably right. We yeah. have a lot of them that probably should be. And I guess it's the grass we grow. It's growing nicely. Yeah. Even though we haven't had much rain. But yeah. But it is what it is. We're supposed to get three inches in the next two days. That'll definitely help. Yeah. And record low temperatures for the high. Yeah, let us know what your weather is. Like. I seen up in Ohio, it was going to be 79 degrees, between 78 and 81 degrees, while the same day, what are we, 300 miles south, 200 and something miles south, we're only going to be between 55 and 58. Yeah. So that's almost 30 degree difference, or yeah, 30 degree difference. No, 20 degree difference, 20, 25 degree difference, and we're down south. Crazy, right? Yeah. Um, before we end the video though, I don't, if you guys watch it this far, many, 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 many of you, um, have been watching us for years and you see that we have Lucy, um, who is one of our subscribers and oh, yeah. she comments like almost on every single video. So I just wanted to put her in here. She also purchased a candle from us this year. Um, but I, we just wanted to send prayers, extra prayers and good vibes and everything to Lucy. And if you guys want to join in also, um, yes. she is in the hospital. And if she wants to share what's going well, on. Well, she kind of already did on the channel. Okay. She okay. in a comment. All right. So she did share with you guys. I just wasn't sure if that was just for us or not. But um, she is she had a heart attack so we just want to definitely send some good vibes her way and definitely. extra healing power i guess yes. 
So, Lucy, I hope you're feeling better by the time you see this. Hopefully, right? Um, and at least home. For definitely, sure. definitely. So, we're thinking of you. So, everybody else, hopefully you liked the video. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good, Have a good night. night.